Anthony DeFino Jr., the son of one of the most prolific mayors in the history of West New York, announced that he would be challenging Felix Roque in 2019. I know everything that's going on in the town might not be the greatest what's happening lately, but I'm here to announce that I'm running for office against you in the next election. May I ask what kind of office you're running for? Run for mayor. Oh, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm, I appreciate your blessing. Your father was an honorable man, and I'm hoping that okay, you are at least maybe you want for saying close to that. And thank well, you. well, you know, who knows what will happen before the election. Maybe you'll end up voting for me then. Hey, listen, you know what? Life is good. It is very good. Thank you. I wish it was better for a lot more people. So just tell us why you thought you wanted to do it right now. Obviously, it's early. We're 13 months away. We're in the midst of Hudson County Civil War. It's an interesting time. Why did you think now was the time? There are enough people in the courtroom. I came in with intentions to do this tonight. And um, it, it doesn't matter what distractions or what, what other issues are going on in the town. I didn't have a chance of, of, of forethought in the last election to let the people know ahead of time in this much with this many months. So I thought it was an opportune time to give the public knowledge that there's another choice out there. Okay, we don't have to keep continuing on with the same old, same old, especially with the circumstances that are going on in this county right now with the county committee situation, with the Roque split with his own ticket. I think that's a fiasco. And I think it's a, a disservice to the people of Western New York because it's, that is not the way you're supposed to be do public service by having in, inside fights with each other where you don't even pay attention to anybody. And what your purpose is is to gain political power but it's not you who's gaining it, it's the people who are in charge of you. And that's my point, is that these people don't run the town. Now, Mayor Felix Roque, as you're well aware, is uh, independently very wealthy. He could write himself a loan for any amount he wants, basically, on any day of the week. How do you plan on keeping up with that kind of fundraising capacity? I'll ask him for a loan. <laughs> for real, though, I mean, obviously you can't match a dollar for dollar, that goes without saying, but how do you think you're going to remain competitive? I'm not, I'm not concerned with that because in the last election, I ran with uh, three people on my ticket. We gathered $5,000 in contributions, and I still acquired 770 votes. And um, that we only had three, two, three months, two or three months prior to the election to, to gain funds. That's why I started early. That is a major point. In, in, in an election is fundraising. That's why I announced a year ahead of time, to gain funds and, and to gather, gather fu people together through functions. So that, that is an excellent point, and that's your answer. That's why I announced today. And finally, why do you think you're the best choice for the job? The experience I was given through my father, being a lifelong West New York resident, and I will never leave this town. I have a love for this town that no one else can have. Through example, through, through their example of what I've seen, they obviously don't love this town anywhere near as much as I do, okay? Their concern is more with profit and, and, and publicity and their personal uh, reputations rather than the people of this town and how the town has a reputation. We still don't have a recreation center. In the last 20 years, we don't have a recreation center for the children of this town. We just lost the senior center. What other programs for the people are you supposed to have that you're just giving away or losing because of mismanagement or other, other circumstances that are just not conducive to managing a town properly? I'm John Heides with the Hudson County View, the eye of the community.